Humans and human beings has only two solutions, be immortal or to reproduce. The retainer goes in immortal mode when he don't release his life force, when his surrounding is not comfortable like having cold showers, lifting, fasting, fighting against urges, addictions. No sex the body goes in self-management mode or immortality, absorbing the life force. Self-management mode that means producing more testosterone, nourishing the body with vitamins and minerals, restoring your central nervous system, cells and receptors like dopamine and serotonin, thicker hair, cleaner skin, reopening blocked chakras, reducing anxiety, more energy, more confidence, more masculine, more attractive, more self-awareness. All for one mission, reproducing. To be a strong male, a strong human being with a higher purpose in life. An individual with his balls loaded with pure life-giving fluid, full of energy. Big goals and higher vibration. As other males because they're simping and wasting their energy around. This fluid you are holding in you is your life force. It gives you all you need for immorality. You're building more muscles and strength. You are healthier. Your brain works on a higher level. You developing more self-confidence, committing, executing, and to achieve. As I continue to go further on my semen retention journey, I realize that there is a massive restorative aspect of semen retention that affects you on many different layers. So not only are you accumulating power, you are getting back to what you should be as a human male. It is a holistic journey that affects you throughout your entire physical and psychological makeup. I've broken them down into the four layers of healing. All of them intertwine and overlap, and in reality, they are all indistinguishable from the other. Physical. When we talk about semen retention, most of us are referring to not using porn and masturbation to orgasm. For many people, the frequency at which they have sex is much lower than the one they masturbate. So masturbation will be the main way semen is spilled. Unfortunately, this PMO addiction will need to be overcome in order to even begin to start reaping the benefits of sexual abstinence. PMO increases levels of cortisol prolactin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. This can lead to a sense of lethargy and lack of well-being due to neurotransmitter oversaturation. There is too much of a good thing, and PMO immediately checks the mark for all of them. It has also been proven that the body's highest energy priorities goes towards production of semen. The ancient Taoists believe that a man should limit ejaculation frequency because a man's vital life essence is lost every time he needs to create semen. By refraining from PMO, you allow your brain to unwire then rewire to its normal state and stop producing massive volumes of neurotransmitters. You are now more focused and resilient in the face of pain. Since the pressure to create semen is no longer there, you now free up your body's internal energy resources for healing in other areas. You also decrease prolactin and increase androgen receptor upregulation. Androgen receptors are the receptors that utilize testosterone and makes a man a man. You will see that over time your voice gets deeper, your hair gets thicker, and on longer retentive streaks you have more muscle definition and fat loss. Personally, all of these things happened to me and my jawline got more defined. Depending on how much semen you ejaculated on a daily or weekly basis, the length of time will vary but many start feeling better physically after a month of pure retention. But it will take six months plus to see the more ridiculous effects. Mental Masturbation and pornography affects you on a mental level. PMO deteriorates the brain and rewires it in a dramatic fashion. The results are an inflamed sex drive, brain fog, lack of motivation, depression, anxiety, and the list goes on. Look at guys who do no fap to see the effect on life outcomes. Not only that, but addiction freezes you on a mental level at the time you started the addiction. So if you became addicted at 15, some part of you will still be psychologically 15 years old. Stopping PMO puts you at peace in your mind. Things that seemed boring before now become tolerable, or even enjoyable. In addition, your brain will be unfrozen. You can now start getting on with life, and catching up with things that you missed out on. Many men start feeling more clear than a timinous 180 days in the journey. For me personally, I can mark a distinct before and after in my mental cognition. I didn't really start using video porn until I was 20 and as the months and years progressed. My concentration plummeted and my anxiety increased. I found it hard to stick with projects at work in my first job after college, and I always felt this mental static that just wouldn't go away. When I abstained from PMO, I experienced significant amounts of mental clarity. The best way I could describe it is standing on top of a mountain in Yosemite National Park looking throughout Yosemite Valley. 
Emotional. As just mentioned, PMO halts your progress psychologically. Many people started an addiction to PMO in order to cope with challenges as a young teen or adolescent. Unfortunately, this coping mechanism became a go-to umbrella for all problems. You got rejected, PMO. You failed a test, PMO. Someone in your family passed away, PMO. Instead of trying to actually solve the problem, you look for the easy way out because you never grew up emotionally. There are many men who are in their late 20 seconds or early 30 seconds who still can't deal with people because emotionally. They are still children. They lack masculine intent. They can't assert boundaries. When you stop PMO, you grow up. You just become more mature. You expect more from women, from life, and you stop living in the fantasy realm of instant gratification. A boy escapes, a man embraces. The emotional level may need therapy to help solve especially if there was significant trauma in your past. This may take years of being on the journey. Spiritual. The spiritual level is intangible, but arguably the most important. Your entire spiritual landscape is affected by the sin of lust. Imagine looking through a dirty lens. You won't see clearly. Your relationship with God, with other beings, and even the world is affected. Giving up PMO allows you to experience the world in its fullness. You clean the lens of lust, and start seeing people and things for who they are. You create a new life, a baby, a new human being created by you, together with the female you attracted because you don't waste your energy. My advice to human males is, retain your life force. Start your life with your gun loaded every darn day. I hope that made sense brothers. Hope this gives a little bit of insight and some things to expect on this journey.